Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today, we're going to be reviewing Akalesia for the Nintendo Switch. Now, even though Akalesia is an uber budget release at a sale price of only $4.99 on the Nintendo Switch eShop, we know that on the Switch platform, a lot of games can be really successful at those low, low price points because sometimes they just deliver an awesome experience. And today, we're going to be answering the question whether Akalesia is one of those titles. Now, as we go through the review, don't forget that if you do like these videos and you want to see more, please do hit the like button. It is the best way to support the channel and also subscribe if you aren't already. Now, as you can probably already see on screen, Akalesia is a retro style 2D platformer with slight puzzle elements. And the basic gameplay plays out in a very simple fashion. When you load into a stage, basically the camera will start by panning out and showing you basically the stage beginning to end. And all you have to do is make your way to the exit point on each stage and at the same time picking up all the power up crystals you need to open that exit. And that's where the slight puzzle elements come in. Because if you basically make your way to the exit and you haven't picked up all the crystals yet, well, you'll have to backtrack and pick up those crystals. If you want to know how many you have to pick up in each stage, all you have to do is look at the top left of the screen. You have a counter that will basically count down as you find the crystals. And once that counter hits zero, you know you can make your way to the exit. Now, gameplay wise, the whole game plays out with three different action buttons. You have your jump button that is set to A. You have a close ranged melee attack that is set to B. And lastly, you have a gun attack that is set to X. You also have a finite number of bullets for your gun. If you want to see where you're at, that is at the top right of your screen. By the way, you can find power ups both to get extra bullets for your gun and also extra HP, which is just above your crystal counter on the left of the screen. So now, so far, everything seems to be pointing in the right direction. We have some beautiful retro aesthetics, although I do find the camera is a tiny bit too zoomed in in your general gameplay. But other than that, we have straightforward mechanics and basically a very simple premise, but nonetheless, that can become very engaging. However, after this, I will be honest with you, Akalesia, the waters start to get muddy and the problems appear in the gameplay. And that's what we're going to look at next, because unfortunately, even though on the surface, Akalesia seems to have all the elements that could make a decent, simple puzzle platformer on the Nintendo Switch, there are unfortunately some things that do not work in the overall gameplay. Now we're going to start with a couple of minor elements. Number one, actually the button selection of how they've placed the buttons, having the jump button on A rather than B, and having the attack buttons on B and X is an odd setup. And unfortunately, the game does not allow you to change the button mapping in the game itself. At the same time, also, your attacks do feel sometimes unresponsive. I would say especially your melee attack from time to time. I swore I hit the button and no attack comes out. And that is very unfortunate. However, so far, those are minor gripes. And theoretically, you can work around them. The button placement, eventually your muscle memory will kick in and you'll get used to the odd button placement. If not, if you're playing on a pro controller, you can actually remap it yourself on the switch itself. And for the attack sometimes being unresponsive, you can just take it as the game wanting you to have a more thought forward approach and basically take it more carefully. But after that, there are other problems that pop up that unfortunately I would say are much more serious. Now, the first and probably one of the most frustrating elements of the gameplay is that the controls of your character feel slippery. Normally, if you want a simple puzzle action platformer, you need to have tight controls. And Akalesia does not have tight controls. And what that does is it turns almost every platforming section of the game into a frustrating element. And the worst is there's an element thrown into the game that almost seems like the developers of the game knew that their control scheme was too slippery. Because basically when you get to platform intensive parts of the game, you see something that appears nowhere else in the game appear, which are checkpoints. And those checkpoints act really oddly. Because if you die from lack of HP, the checkpoint doesn't kick in. You basically have to start the stage over from the beginning. But if you die from falling off a platform and off the screen, 
Well, then the checkpoint kicks in and you get to start from that last checkpoint. It's as if the game developers themselves knew that their slippery control schematic wasn't sufficient for the platforming sections and rather than rework their control design, they sort of put a band-aid on it and created those checkpoints so that at least the game would be playable. And unfortunately, that's not the only gameplay element that is problematic. The hitboxes, both on your character and for the enemies, is, for lack of a better word, janky. Basically, you can't trust the hitboxes. Sometimes you'll be right on top of an enemy, hits won't register either from your weapon or the enemy, and other times you swear you didn't touch the enemy and a hit will register. And unfortunately, once again, it just frustrates the gameplay. And with such a simple game, these are things you just cannot miss on. Now, I kept the best or maybe worst element to last, the ladders. Every time you have to deal with a ladder in this game, it is extremely frustrating. For some reason, stepping off of a ladder, which should be super simple, just doesn't register half the time. And trying to move from right to left on an, a ladder or trying to strike an enemy that is off to the left of the ladder or off to the right of the ladder just doesn't work 75% of the time. Making each and every ladder in this game your worst enemy throughout the whole game process. Forget about the actual enemies in the game. The worst enemy of this game is each and every ladder within it. And unfortunately, there are tons of ladders. Now, overall, I'm just going to take a step back for a second because I may be getting a little carried away. I just want to specify, this game isn't broken. You can finish the stages. It just becomes extremely frustrating. And for lack of a better description, it's just not fun to play Akalesia because of all these little frustrations that accumulate through pretty much each one of the levels. And finally, I did point to this a little bit earlier, but the reason why a lot of budget platformers really work on the Nintendo Switch is that their fundamentals are solid. And when you're building a simple action platformer, there are two fundamentals that you just can't get wrong. And that first one is tight controls. And number two is adequate hitboxes. If you get those two things right, you are on the right path. And unfortunately, this game gets those two fundamentals wrong. So now we get to the verdict. And in this case, I'm not even sure it's necessary, but nonetheless, I'm going to give it as usual. And if this is one of the first videos that of mine that you watch, just to know, I do not give a numerical score. I give an overall statement concerning whether I recommend the purchase of this game or not. If you want to see what all those statements that I use on a regular basis are, they're down below in the description of the video. And for Akalesia, the game's going to be getting, unfortunately, a definite pass. Ultimately, even though the game is cheap at only $5, it is just not fun to play. And that's why I have to give it that definite pass. And ultimately, even at $5, there are dozens and dozens of better choices on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Even every week now, I do a list of all the top games at under $5, and pretty much any one of those games are miles above the experience you'll get from Akalesia. Now, just as a final thought, because I don't want this to sound like I'm harping on a small developer, maybe the developer can patch these issues out in the future. The problem is that with a small indie game like this, if it doesn't hit the ground running, most people won't be revisiting it. So maybe these things are possible to be patched out. But unfortunately, at that point, I most likely won't be revisiting Akalesia for a second playthrough. So now just before we go, just a quick reminder that if you like these videos, you want to see more, please do hit that like button. It is the best way to support the channel. Also, as I said earlier, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Oh, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.